Hey everyone, um, I'm really excited right now. I want to do a video of something I just created. Um, it's a pocket page for all of us. Um, I know how much we love to use tags and pockets and store things everywhere um, in our minis. So, I was sitting on the couch one day and I came up with... I know it looks really ugly. This is like a, like a, a trial one. But, so it looks like this. And when you flip it over, there's another side of it. And I really, really do like it. As I was making this, I, like, you know, realized that there was more pockets than I intended it to be. So there is a total of, well, we'll count together. So there's one pocket in here. So that's one. And then another one in this little paper flap here. That's two. And you can add um, journaling right here or embellishments. Um, so that's two. And then you can put a photo mat right here and pull the photo out and do journaling on the back or whatever. This is just a little card here. Um, you can do journaling right here on the corner. So that's three. Then there's one right here on the side, like in between the pages. So that's four. And then you flip it over. And then there's the same thing on the other side. Five, six, seven. So you can do journaling, um, do whatever you really want to these uh, spots right here because they're really blank. Um, I would suggest doing journaling. Um, well, you know, you could journal on the tags too, I guess. But yeah, so I want to share you, with you guys um, how I made this. And then there's one also on the top right here. So I think there is seven. There are seven pockets. And it's just so cute. I really like how it turned out. It's really, really simple. And I searched all, all over YouTube to see if anybody created this kind of pocket. And I didn't find anybody. So I get to claim it as mine, as Michelle's pocket. So I'm just going to share with you guys how I made it. So you want to take a piece of paper and you want it to be... I prefer 8 by 11. Um, you don't want it to be a square. You want it to have um, a longer length. Um, so here we go. So you're just going to fold it in half. Okay? I already, there's like marks on here. You fold it in half. And then you fold it in half again this way. Okay? So then you have your little, um, you have your little, so right now you just did two folds, one fold up and one fold to the side. Then you're going to take your top piece of paper, because there's going to be four, one, two, three, four. And you're going to take your top piece of paper and fold it all the way down to um, along this edge right here. So you're just going to fold it down so you have like a little triangle. And then you just flip it over and do the same thing. Take that top flap and fold it down over. And then, so this is the basic structure of the pocket. Um, so, okay, I guess I'll just do this for you guys. I'm going to add adhesive. You're going to open it up and add adhesive to the center so that just stays closed. You're going to add adhesive to the bottom right here so this bottom corner stays closed as well. And then you're going to add just a little adhesive in the corner so that top corner stays closed also. This is going to be a really rough tutorial, you guys. <laughs> so, you're going to have a little L right here. One at the bottom and one on the side here. So, I'm just going to peel these off. You could use any kind of adhesive for this. So, and then you just fold it close and press down on those um, areas that you put your adhesive. So, now you have a little pocket right here. And then you have a little pocket right here at the top. Okay? And then you're just going to punch holes here. Put your um, your little eyelets in for your um, binding. And then you're going to also add, you're going to flip this flap over. And you're just going to add some adhesive along the edge. So, you're going to add some adhesive along this edge. I'm just going to peel that off. And then you're just going to secure it. So now you created a pocket right here. Flip it over, do the same thing, add some along this edge. I'm just adding a little. Um, so yeah, 
Okay, you got it right there. Fold it over, and then you got another pocket on this side as well. Well, you want to do a better job because look, I didn't really do it that good. So you got a pocket in here, a pocket in here, a pocket right here, and then a pocket on the top, and then you flip the page over and you got one on this side and on this side. And then you can really do anything. You could just stress the edges before you add here your little card stock that you want to cover over here. So I just took um, two white triangles. I just, I didn't really measure. I just like, you know, cut the corners off. And so you could see that right there, right? You could see where the white cardstock would go. And you would want to put card stock, um, some adhesive on the sides right here along this straight edge and this straight edge. And you want to leave that long, the longest um, edge open to make another pocket. So I'm just going to peel off these little tape thingies. I'm just going to stick it down on. Okay. Oh, see, I think you could do a good job. Um, putting adhesive on, but whatever, you know what I mean. So you would put adhesive all along here, all along on this side, so you have this little pocket right here. Okay? And then you could do the same on the other side. Okay? And then you have your other pocket right here. And then you could also make little, um, let me just rip a piece of paper. You could also, this is like a post-it note. Pretend this is like, um, this is the size over here that you want to put in. You could also put in this, okay, and it would ex extend if it was your actual piece of paper. And you could leave, and you could just put um, like adhesive right here in the corner, and then, and down here in the corner, and you could make this also into a pocket right here, and another one at the top in here. And I would use this like as a photo mat and put some journaling on the back. Okay, so that's how it looks like. So I'm just gonna move that aside. So once again, you have places for tags right here. A tag in this pocket here. Okay, let me do that again. You'll have a, a spot for a tag in this first pocket. And then you'll have another spot for a tag right here. So you got already three spots, and then you'll have a spot in this opening right here on the side, okay? And then you'll have a spot on the top, and then you flip your page over, so you're looking at it on your book, and then you're going to flip the page over, and you have the exact same thing. You could put like a photo mat in here, you could put another little tag in here, and then two really small tags on the side if you want. And then you would put your, you know, your um, ribbons and fibers through your little tags. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really had a lot of fun making this. I didn't really expect a lot of this to happen. Um, so I hope you guys try it out in your minis. Um, leave a comment. Let me know how I did on this pocket. I'd like to know. Rate if you want to. Um, and I hope if you guys did make this that you guys would mention me because, you know, it is really good. It's a really good feeling um, knowing that people like your work and they want to use that idea too. So, I know that sounds so retarded, right? Mention me. But um, <laughs> I would appreciate it if you guys did. And so these tags are really ugly in here. Like, look at them. But, like, you know, you can make it longer, put a longer um, piece of cardstock in here, and you can make it into, like, a photo mat that you pull out. You can make, you know, punch your little tabs. Hold on a second. So, yeah, there's the little pocket page. Okay? There's the little pocket page. It's another one. Cover it with your designer paper, and then you have all these pockets to um, put your tags in. I hope you guys enjoyed that and please comment and please rate so um, I know if I'm doing a good job or not. Okay? Thanks you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys try this out. Bye!